Well, our Gary Nuremberg got what he could from the spy girls of Woodbridge. At 19, Doris Borer was pretty and pretty tough. I felt like it was my war, too. At 88, she still is. All the guys were going and getting shot up and everything, and I wanted to do that. At 25, Betty McIntosh was pretty and pretty tough. I had a 32, I think it was, but, and then crawl through the sand, you're, you're approaching the enemy. And At 96, she still is. If I'd had a gun, maybe I might have shot him. <laughs> They both worked for the spying Office of Strategic Services during World War II for the CIA in the Cold War that followed, but didn't meet until retirement in Woodbridge. Yeah, we compare what we've done, and <laughs> not bragging. But there is much to brag about. I went to first Africa and then Italy. An expert in aerial surveillance, targeting. See that? That's an oil tank. And damage assessment after a bombing raid. What they hit, what they didn't hit. Did we get the bridge today? We followed every train. To concentration camps. We knew that trains were going into these places. We didn't know exactly what they were doing there. Betty was in Hawaii on December 7th. The ships just turned over upside down and all those men were in there. Months later, undercover, she slipped a piece of coal to a man about to board a coal-powered boat carrying Japanese troops. This piece of coal had dynamite in it. The boat exploded with all of the soldiers in the middle of the lake. In Burma... The uh, Japanese soldier would never surrender because if he did, he would be disloyal to the emperor. So a Japanese courier was killed and new rules for a soldier's surrender she helped fabricate were put in his case, his body sure to be found. A lot of the Japanese surrendered. It worked. Partisan women wearing ammunition belts and grenades inspired Doris to get even with co-workers who dismissed her as a girl. She took a fake grenade to lunch and pulled the pin. And then sat it down in front of them and they went out the windows and doors. And I'm sitting there laughing my head off. They both ended up in the CIA, but that's about all you'll get. And what did you do for them? I'm afraid that's sort of it's still that you can't talk about. <laughs> the 96-year-old woman still flies the flag that inspired the girl she still is. I'm so proud of it. I just want it to be there. It stands for everybody I've known, worked with, loved, and it's part of my life. The OSS Society Journal is a pretty slick publication, rich in content and history. Betty was the editor-in-chief until she quit at 95. She's also authored two books, Sisterhood of Spies, The Women of the OSS, and Undercover Girl, The Secret War. Doris did some groundbreaking work discovering that Germany had jet airplanes in World War II, got the pictures that proved it. That's what they can talk about. Lord knows what it is they won't talk about. Derek. Oh.